All right, hey guys, we're back. More Tour 9 here. <clears throat> See if I can't draw another opponent here and try to uh, get some more win, win view points for you guys. I'd really like to start getting some of the new par 3s on a regular basis. It's kind of very frustrating to never get that. But uh, one of the things that I do want to make a note of uh, for this hole is, uh, you know, those trees on the left-hand side there uh, by the green are very much in play now. Uh, yeah, you can hit those. So uh, you want to kind of set up your shot uh, according to keeping that in mind uh, to hopefully keep you guys from, um, you know, putting yourself behind those. Or if you ever get a headwind straight into the face, you want to make sure that you're driving this long enough over here to the left to where you will never have a shielded view behind those trees. So you really want to start avoiding that bunker on the right at all costs now. So whereas you used to be able to do it and, you know, be like, oh, oh well, I'm in the bunker. Um, you know, it's, a, it's going to be a lot more tough now if you're to, to use that same type of approach. So what I usually do for this hole is I make sure, you know, six, seven rings, um, I'm in the clear. And you can see, you know, it's starting to get right to the edge on about seven rings. I might just come off of this a little bit, but keep in mind that I'm going to use more of a, a POC 6, a POC 5 spin, somewhere in there. And we're going to try to land this very aggressively on the edge. I'm going to just come off a little bit, like I mentioned, because... Uh, you know, that's pretty much the way that I play this, is I make sure that I count for those differences. That's uh, coming in too hot anyway. That's one of the biggest problems with going for this green, is you really have to just do everything just right. It has to hit that rough right over that green, and you can see that uh, I wasn't able to do it. It's either that or you have to top spin it through the bunker. So what I was trying to do was to back off, to hit it more like an Apoc 5, which is what I did, um, but you could see that it just came in still too hot. So I landed it just a little bit too long on the first bounce, and then the second bounce, you know, also too long because of that fact. But uh, nevertheless, uh, even if you go where I just did um, with perfect ball, you're going to probably make the eagle, which is going to be more than you can say about laying up in the fairway. So considering that I'll probably make this every time I perfect ball it out of this sand, um, it's not a terrible spot to be. So well worth going for the green here as it's very low risk reward. Um, you have nothing to really lose and just the only thing you can just kind of gain an eagle. But I'm more than comfortable with just, you know, putting it up here by the hole and uh, going for the hopeful par three one of the new ones I, i'm if i see the old hole i'm viable at this point to just lose it because I, i've literally played maybe the last eight shootouts and seven of them are the old holes so really at this point it's really starting to uh work on my nerves a little bit because i'm trying to put out this guide for you guys and i just can't get the new holes this is it's a one in three shot and every time i hit you know, it's basically like if I was playing the lottery, I would have already won with as many times as I actually get the old hole. Because to to hit to hit that hole like six straight times is very, very low percentage if you look at law of averages. You know, whatever one-third to the, you know, seventh, sixth, seventh power, whatever that works out to percentage-wise, it's probably under 1% chance that that could even happen. And yet that's what I'm dealing with but I'm gonna split this video up for you guys because I want to make sure that I have this viewpoint on its own because I have not got this one but three times for you guys so I'll catch you guys on the shootout here real quick 